everyone, it's me, Tiger. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to today's sponsor, Disney Pop Town. You can go ahead and download the game for free using my link down below in the description. I'm also doing a special giveaway, so be sure to stay tuned to the end to find out how to win. Disney Pop Town is a unique game that has something for everyone. Whether you're a puzzler, builder, collector, or a creator, you will definitely love this game. You get to create your very own avatar and collect countless costumes to dress up as your favorite Disney and Pixar characters. My favorite costume collection is definitely Winnie the Pooh. It is just too cute. Each costume also has its own unique ability that you can level up, offering a layer of strategy to each round that you play. Complete challenging puzzles to earn stars so that you can restore and rebuild Disney and Pixar inspired towns. Each town is based on your favorite Disney and Pixar stories and you get to customize and explore them all, including Alice in Wonderland, Aladdin, Coco, Toy Story, Frozen, and even more. Exclusively for this video, if you download Disney Pop Town using my link in the description, the first 20 people who make the most progress in the game after one month will be able to add me as a friend in the game. You can even summon my character to help you complete missions once we are friends, which is pretty cool. And that's not all. Everyone who downloads my link will get a $5 pack of 60 rubies and 8 darts. This offer expires in exactly one month from today's video, and that is when all of the gifts will also be sent out. The link also works as a creator code, so anything that you spend in-game will support me as a creator. One last thing, I will be giving away the entire ColourPop Animal Crossing makeup collection or a $50 Nintendo eShop gift card. The winner will get to choose which gift they want. All you have to do is download using my link, screenshot you getting to level 50, and don't worry, each level only takes 1-2 to two minutes, so it's not that bad, and tag me on Twitter or Instagram with your screenshot. Each person is limited to only one entry and the winner will be picked in exactly one month from now. Thank you again so so much to Disney Pop Town for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Last time we were here on Java Island, we gained a new resident, which is Poppy, the Okapi, which is how you guys told me to pronounce it. Um, I hope that is correct. I'm listening to you guys, so you guys better be right. Since he's moved on to the island, he doesn't have a proper house. This is all he has, is this little empty home on the beach. And all that is here is this little yellow Cosmo plant that Chief left behind and Chief is who moved off of the island if you guys were wondering and if you haven't watched my previous Java video. So for today's video we are going to be giving Poppy a new home and outside of his home we are going to give him a juice stand. Over the past few months a lot of you have requested for me to build a juice stand so we're finally going to do it and we're going to make it Poppy's juice stand. We need to talk to Poppy about moving his house so that we can get it over in the designated area. I just feel like this build is perfect for Poppy because he is a lazy villager type and they are lazy and they talk about eating food all of the time. So why not give him the ultimate juice bar for his house? It just makes sense. This is where Poppy's house is going to go. It's right next to the museum and it's just this big open plot. So I thought we could have Poppy's house like back here in this little slot and then the juice bar can kind of be opened up into to this area so I'm just gonna place Poppy's house down and I'm gonna try to place it over this rock so that it'll get rid of the rock for us <laughs> and we won't have to do it ourselves okay I mean this is kind of an awkward angle I can't really tell if that's a good spot um but we're just gonna go for it I hope that this works out there is a lot of room still over here but maybe we could place some trees and stuff and that'll look good but then there's also this back walkway so if you guys have any ideas for what we should put back here definitely comment those down below I do want it to be separated from Poppy's house so we'll just have to see what that turns into now I need to go around and dig up all of these bamboo shoots because there are so many and they are so wow. ugly start construction please let's get this in the works the first thing I want to do is place down a pathway I am going to use this brown dirt pathway that we have just because I don't want the juice stand to be like laying on the floor if that makes sense 
sense I want there to be like some sort of ground beneath it other than the grass we are practically done with the pathway I did leave this portion over here open because we'll have to complete that whenever Poppy's house is officially moved in I also left this little circle in the pathway because you know I didn't want it to just be like a big blob of dirt so I wanted to break it up and add a little fun detail so we're gonna plant a bamboo tree maybe we should do a cherry tree since it's a fruit stand the only cherry tree on the entire island should definitely be at the fruit stand. I thought it would be nice to use the festival stall for the actual juice stand. I don't know. Something about the festival items that just screams jungle core. They just match really well with this island. So I'm definitely going to use that. I have an infused water dispenser. So it looks like there's some fruit water over here. And then I also have a fruit basket. I don't know if I was able to grab it. I will have to add that later. My inventory got a little bit fool okay and i had to um not bring all of the items yet so <laughs> table and chairs of course we're gonna oh oh that's that's another table i need a chair um yeah we obviously have to have some tables and chairs so people can come and enjoy the juice that they just got from the juice stands oh my gosh the little karopi snack looks amazing should we just have like a bug just chilling in the middle of the pathway. She's kind of cute. I kind of like her. Let's put the other table right down here and maybe we can like push this one up a little bit. Okay, I like the way that that looks a lot better. And then we can have the second table and chair over here. And I'm gonna use two chairs for this one. So it looks a little bit different. We're gonna have to move this bug because there's not enough room for the chair. Let's do the 12 grape dish. I thought it would be cute since it's like a fruit stand and grapes are fruit. I downloaded some custom designs specifically for this area, including this little um, umbrella design, which is a crate of fruit. So we're gonna turn that around and we're gonna use that here i just feel like it would make sense i don't know if that's a great spot for it maybe we should try to place it actually like next to the stand oh my gosh that doesn't look bad that actually looks so cute okay i'm here for it i wanted to try to make a little peach farm with these peach surprise boxes even though they are huge i have seen people use these in farms on their islands and it just looks really good so I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if I like the horizontal look. I'm gonna try to do it vertically and have them like right next to the house. Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks so much better whenever it's like, um, I guess, vertical. So we're gonna keep it like that. And then we need to make a little stone path that leads over here to the little peach farm. That way, you know, it looks a little bit more put together i forgot i downloaded this little design look at this you guys it's a nice little puddle and we can display it on the ground next to the peach farm that is so cute oh my gosh i love that so much and then i also have an extra shovel which i want to use um in the peach farm i want to place it back here so it looks like you know you've been farming um, maybe digging up some dirt for the peach farm. I'm trying to find a place for this bug model, but I don't know where to put her. I think that's a good spot. I think that is a great spot for her. I don't know. I don't know. I might change it later. I also have some more fruit boxes, but these are the actual cardboard boxes from the game. I wonder if we can stack. Yes, we can stack the boxes. That is so cute. And then it leads over here. I don't know. Maybe we should move it back a little bit since it is kind of obstructing this little walkway. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I thought I only had two peach surprise boxes, but I actually have three. So we can place another one back here and make the peach farm a little bit bigger. Oh yes, that looks so cute. I mean, obviously peaches are not this large and it's not very realistic, but I think it still adds a cute detail. I don't know how I feel about this serving cart because it's like this really ugly brown color. I wish it was darker to match the furniture a little bit better, but I'm just gonna have to leave it there because I don't have another serving cart. Um, maybe we can replace it later on if I ever find um, a darker one. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try 
to customize the serving cart because every time that this happens and I'm like, oh, I wish I had this item in a different color. You guys are always like, Tiger, you can customize that. So maybe we can customize the serving cart. Nope, we cannot customize the serving cart. So I'm heartbroken, but it's fine. I did grab a fruit basket though. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And I also got a wooden stool to place outside of the stall because that is just something that I've seen done before that I really liked. And I thought it would just, you know, spice it up a little bit. And then I guess we can return the serving cart back to this area for now. I do want to change the color, um, you know, at some point, but it won't be today, sadly. I don't know what to do with this walkway right here between the museum and the juice stand. I think I'm just going to leave it empty for now because I do want to do another video where I decorate small spaces on my island. If you guys haven't seen the first video I did like that, I will put it up in the corner of the screen. But anyways, I think that we're basically done with this area. I am going to time travel so that Poppy's house can, you know, get officially moved in. That way we can kind of see it all um, together. So I'll be right back. Let's head back to Poppy's house now. It's been a few days and I'm ready to see what this completed area will look like oh excuse me prince oh my gosh all of my villagers are out today by their houses this is so cute hello rowan get ready here is poppy's juice stand it looks super cute oh my gosh look at the little peach farm and then we have the actual juice stand right here again i don't know what i'm gonna do with this area this is all just like incomplete and um just trash but hey at least it looks good from right here <laughs> I'm really happy with this area. I think the juice stand is such a cute concept and it matches Poppy's house really well. I'm just super happy that Poppy moved on to my island in general. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and also turn on the post notifications. I also want to remind you about the giveaway that I talked about earlier. If you want to enter, the rules are down below in the description or you can rewind and rewatch whenever I say the rules if that's what you wanna do. Thank you all for tuning tuning into today's video. I will see you in my next one. Bye. P.S. Have a great day or night. I forgot to say that. Okay, bye. <laughs>